Growing up as a military child, traveling has always been part of my life. Every couple of years, my family had to pack our things and live in a different place. Because of this, I was always interested in the unknown and exploring unfamiliar cultures. My curiosity took me to Morocco because it was a mystery to me. With it being a Muslim country, many people had a lot of preconceptions and reservations about me going, but I wanted to base my opinions from my own experiences. There are many reasons why I fell in love with this country, including meeting new people, eating food, and visiting the cities. Living in a predominantly Muslim country, I was not isolated because of my religion, but rather embraced. Most of the people I met were welcoming. Everywhere I went, I was met with a plethora of languages, French, English, Arabic, and Darija, a dialect of Arabic. Morocco is also a melting pot of cultures with predominantly Arabs and Berbers, as well as Sub-Saharan Africans. Although my program was about five and a half weeks, it felt a lot longer. A typical week for me would go like this. I would wake up early in the morning and look out the window of the busy street, get ready, eat breakfast, and walk with my roommates to class. On the weekends and during my free time, my class would explore different parts of Morocco. One of my favorite activities was exploring the Medina with my friends. The Medina is a very busy area with restaurants, markets, shops, and even homes. We would spend hours walking through them and getting lost and wandering aimlessly into cool shops and bargaining good deals on items. The food was amazing. My diet was replaced by couscous, tangines, and drinking tons of refreshing fruit smoothies and hot mint teas. Most importantly, even though it isn't a large country, traveling to different regions felt like living in another country and another adventure. I not only camped under the stars in the Sahara Desert in Mouzouga, but toward the United Nations High Commissioner of Refuge in Rabat, walked along the beautiful beach town overlooking the Atlantic in Asila and Tangier, and hiked through the forest Atlas Mountains in Ephraim. Overall, Morocco was one of the most incredible experiences, and I'm thankful for the opportunity to go. The more I spent time in this country, the more I embraced the culture and the people living there. T.S. Eliot once said that only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far they can go. There are many obstacles that keep people from taking the leap to study abroad, but if you set aside and go for it, it is extremely fulfilling. So don't be afraid to take a risk because you never know, it can turn out to be an amazing adventure.